Oy, oy, oy. You know, I know they say it's a choice, but I totally don't think it is. Oh, I said it wrong. I know they say it's not a choice, but I totally think it is. <laughs> My head's going a little bit. I mean, it's not like dependent on your skin color or anything. And perfectly normal parents can have children who choose it. And it's totally not their fault. And those people, they say it's just who they are. But I just don't get it. I mean, I understand that it's all over the media and that there are millions of people who are like that. But why anyone would choose it is beyond me. I mean, maybe there's some kind of self-hatred or confusion. Or maybe it was something that happened in their childhood. Or maybe they're looking for some meaning in their life. Or they're trying to make sense and they haven't found anything that makes more sense. But either way, I still wouldn't want to associate with anyone like that. Because you know what happens when you get close to them. <laughs> they try to recruit you. <laughs> they try to tell you how they see things and get you to believe what they believe. And I don't need that. I know what I believe. I don't need anyone messing with that. I mean, I think 13 is too young to be indoctrinated into that way of being. But maybe by the time you're 13, a child knows how he or she feels about, you know, God or Jesus Christ. But maybe not. I mean, are children asked if they want to be confirmed? Or is it just taken for granted? Aren't they choosing? I know plenty of people who denounce the religion they were raised in. So isn't it a choice? Otherwise, they couldn't give it up with one stroke of their voice. I know pl plenty of people who say, I don't believe in God anyway. I also know plenty of people who say they don't believe that normal people are gay. So maybe if sexual orientation isn't up to volition, neither is religion. Maybe a boy could be born loving men and God, and a girl could be born loving women and Christ. Maybe one doesn't have anything to do with the other. Maybe both are choices. Maybe neither are choices. Either way, I think that since I respect someone who is lesbian, I should also respect someone who is Christian. <laughs> Whether or not either is a choice. Because frankly, I don't care if you think I choose to be gay. Just like I don't think you care if I, th if I think you choose to believe in God. What matters most? That I respect your way of life. That I don't pick on your kids for what they believe. Even though there are those who think the way we are makes us enemies. So I ask the same of you. Respect my way of life. Don't give me strife for living in a way that confuses you. And don't pick on the kids who don't do as you would do. We don't have to like each other. That's not what being united is about. But we are brothers and sisters in these United States of America. It would be nice if we liked each other, but we could start by avoiding hate. We all agree that we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I will not think you're any less of a human being just because I live in a way that confuses you, no matter how much 
The media lies about you. So I ask that you give me and us the benefit of the doubt that we are not gay to spite you or to ruin America. I love my country. I love your country. I love our country. I want us all to put down our suspicions long enough to consider each other's positions. We are gay. Some of you are not. Some of you are. That one probably isn't. <laughs> Recently come out, though. Some of you are Christian. Some of us are not. Some of us are. None of this matters as the blood of our children splatters over the walls in the lonely halls of rejection from family and society and church and state where they go to hide from the self-hate. But we can put an end to this. We can stop this mess. If instead of saying no, we say yes. Yes, I love all our children. Yes, I love all our citizens. Yes, I love people who don't agree with me. Yes, I think we can coexist happily. Yes, I want all of our children to be loved. And yes, I think we can all rise above the fact that we don't agree and let our children grow up in internal and external harmony, free to be whoever they are, Christian and gay, agnostic and straight. Whatever way they choose, whichever way, we can make a difference starting today.